This is the design I've come up with. Basically, it's a hair conditioning bottle and it fulfills all the requirements which I specified. In other words, it needed a trough which was of reason reasonable size and also it didn't have to have square corners otherwise seed would collect and and possibly not flush out and over a period of days would undoubtedly start to rot. <clears throat> As one can see when this container is held at a suitable angle such as such as that water will collect momentum up right, here we are. water will collect in this part here now the angle is fairly critical if I make it too steep like that there will be very little water collecting there because the hole, the drain hole is going to be there on the other hand, if I make it too shallow in that direction, then the water is going to be enormous and this is the entry tube may cause problems with flushing and also flushing out because it would have to go over that hill. So it's rather critical and I've decided something something of this and angle would be perfect the tube will go into this side here uh, there will be a cutout here small window obviously the bottom ledge will be above the water line where the hens can satisfy their thirst right the next part of this series I will be showing the actual testing of this fantastic budgie water trough which in the end is going to be fully automatic I have a collection of nests in the attic which I call the flats and Zed is going to be my first customer she's a bright lutino an immature mate. I brought the nest floor down to facilitate easier construction and to cause less disturbance to the rest of the hens. Now this is Zed's bed. Fact. This is a whole area of Zed's, Zed's nest. My bed goes here. Right. As you can see it's in two sections. This is her private quarters. This is a little stopper. Stop the eggs getting lost. This is a place where I put seed for her. Now here's a little play area. Sometimes she dives behind there when I'm putting seed in. And she hides behind there with the chicks. She's a very nervous little bird. 
and although she's settled down recently, if I come anywhere near the entrance of the nest, she'll, <coughs> she'll hop off her eggs and she'll dive behind that board with the chicks.